What's going on, sixpackabs.com? It's Thomas DeLauer, your lead nutritionist and creator of the science-based six-pack program, which you can see down below in the description. It's the world's leading intermittent fasting course. Anyway, let's talk today about detoxing, all right? truly detoxing and your body's own ability to detox. I'm talking about glutathione. Now, glutathione is something that's naturally occurring within your body. It's the mother of all antioxidants. It's actually in your body, ready to go, ready to neutralize anything bad that comes in your body. It's all rooted here with glutathione. So I'm gonna give you the breakdown of how it works in the body, mainly because I want you to understand how alcohol is ultimately metabolized. So many people on my fasting program have been asking about alcohol, and they wanna have an understanding of how alcohol is metabolized, but also what glutathione is really doing, because I mentioned it a little bit. So let's just break this down with glutathione, and then in follow-up videos, I'll talk more about alcohol itself. So glutathione is an antioxidant that's made up of cysteine, glycine, and glutamate, okay? Just three simple aminos that combine to form a perfect antioxidant. But there's a few different forms of glutathione, and we have to understand how they work and what they do within the body, okay? The first form is the reduced form of glutathione. Now, when we first hear reduced, it sounds like it's limited. It sounds like it's not good, like it's a wasteful part that's already been used. But it's actually the opposite. The reduced form of glutathione is actually the active form. And the reason it's called reduced is because it has the ability to give one of its electrons away, thereby becoming reduced. So if you want to get technical, it's almost like it should be called glutathione that's ready to be reduced versus reduced glutathione. But essentially, that's all it means. It means it's ready to go. It is the active form that is willing to give away an electron, and that'll make sense in just a second. Okay, then the next form of glutathione in the body is something called GSSR. Okay, this is the regeneration of glutathione. Now here's how this works, and it's pretty cool. So when you have active glutathione in the body and it gives away an electron, which again will make sense in a minute, it becomes oxidized, okay? It has given away an electron and has become wasted. It's become oxidized. It's the opposite of the reduced form. But something really interesting happens in the body. When two glutathiones give away an electron and both become oxidized, they come together. Think of it like two dudes that just broke up with their girlfriends at the same time and they're kind of feeling sorry for themselves so they hang out together and they go to the bar but then what is interesting is in the case of glutathione they get connected with a particular enzyme that allows them to become regenerated again so in this case these two dudes that went to the bar that were kind of upset because their girlfriends had broken up with them they end up talking to a great marriage counselor or a great therapist that encourages them to get back together. So they do. So that's how it works. It has to do with something called disulfide, so glutathione disulfide. So what is going on is these two oxidized glutathiones get together and form glutathione disulfide, which then reacts with glutathione transferase, and that creates new glutathione, a new relationship, which basically means that those dudes that had broken up got back together with their girlfriends and everything is fine and dandy again. Then the cycle repeats itself, which may not necessarily apply when it comes down to relationships because it's probably not gonna happen again and again and again, but it was a great analogy at least for understanding glutathione. Okay, then we have another form of glutathione which is called GSX. GSX is glutathione that has been binding to a toxin or to a protein. Basically, GSX is the currently working form of glutathione. We're not gonna worry too much about that. Let's talk about detoxing for a second because this is where glutathione is big. You see, we have 10 times as much glutathione in liver cells as we do in any other cells within the body. That's because the liver is processing everything. The liver is processing alcohol. The liver is processing poisons and toxins and everything that is coming through the body that needs to be filtered. So glutathione, it would make sense that it's just chilling there in the liver for the most part. But here's how it works. Remember how I said that the reduced form of glutathione can give away an electron? Well, what it does is it gives away an electron to counteract or neutralize a positively charged toxin. So if we have a toxin that comes in the body, they're usually very positively charged. Again, using the bar analogy, think about a super rambunctious biker that's coming into the bar and causing all this grief and causing all this stuff. Well, glutathione has the ability to give an electron over that's gonna neutralize it a little bit. It's gonna neutralize the biker. It's gonna chill out the person at the bar a little bit more. Okay, so it basically sacrifices part of itself in order to neutralize a toxin. So you can see how if we have a lot of toxins, glutathione can get depleted. And if we get it too depleted, then we don't have the ability to regenerate it fast enough. So it gives you a solid understanding of how important glutathione is when it comes down to staying healthy. Now, you can supplement glutathione, and I talk about that a lot in my program, 
but you can also just make sure that you're eating enough food that's going to stimulate glutathione. I talk about that in other videos. But the most important thing is trying to limit the toxins that are coming in your body. One of the best ways that you can do that is through fasting. Fasting naturally creates a process where your body detoxes. When you're fasting, your body's producing a lot of glutathione because your body's already detoxing and you're already in that mode. Then when you're done fasting, your body is so much cleaner, glutathione stores go up. So it's this vicious cycle, it's actually quite good. Anyhow, that's a solid understanding of glutathione for you. Okay, the simple process and how they give away an electron to neutralize bad things in the body, plain and simple. As always, keep it locked in here on sixpackabs.com. And if you haven't already, you've got to give my program a shot. You got to check it out down below in the description. I'll see you in the next video.